What is going on, my Masketeers? Welcome back to another episode of the Masketeers. I, Meds, and we are here to talk about the latest Disney Plus show, which is Marvel's Loki. Episode 1 dropped, and we're here to talk about it. So, for those of you that don't know the premise of Loki, essentially, it takes place right after the events of Avengers Endgame, where they went to do the time heist, and they go to New York to try and get the Tesseract, but through a series of events, Loki ends up getting his hands on the Tesseract, and jumping to a different location you then come to find out that he's then stopped or captured by these agents and they are part of an organization called the time variant authority or the time variance authority tva for short they inform loki that essentially he is out of time and he's potentially put in the multiverse in danger right so he's got two options he can either get erased or he can help them and we know loki for what he is how do i feel about this episode to be honest with you the episode itself wasn't too bad um there wasn't that much action but it was more done to do setup because they introduced a lot of stuff in this episode where I feel with phase four, that is the new territory. And that's the multiverse. With them trying to put every piece together that would kind of lay the groundwork when they introduce this massive reveal. So with Loki, he essentially is being held there, TVA headquarters, and he basically gets to see his entire life play out before him. Why he does what he does and the purpose so I feel like episode one was really like a, a character dive. Where I have some issues is some of the stuff which they kind of introduced in the show kind of diminished everything that came before. What I mean by that is there are two things in particular which I felt a little bit weird about. One is how big and how powerful the TVA is, right? The way they have presented them in the show, it is ludicrous to the point of where i'm thinking and so they show something like with the infinity stones because loki tries to escape and he somehow gets his hands on um the test fact again but apparently it doesn't work in their building the very thing that was at the beginning of creation has no power here which i thought was wild then on top of that they have multiple stones and they literally just be tossing these things around like they're fucking marbles, which is crazy to me because, again, these are the Infinity Stones, the very embodiment of power in the universe. But here, they're just like trivial, which I thought was a little bit crazy. I know that we've left the Infinity Saga and we're now moving on to the next phase, but I don't know how I felt about them kind of belittling the Infinity Stones, especially for the part that they played in the build-up for over 10 years. But now it's like, ah, eh, you know, no big deal. Is what it is. And then they also introduce a concept which is meant to be like the three gods or the three deities, which essentially is meant to be like the tribunal. But they're the ones that created the main timeline. And it's like they merged multiple universes or they merge the multiverse essentially into one timeline into one main timeline but in doing that a lot of things are left unanswered because they can't explain how loki has deviated from the path but yet the avengers them going back in time and doing the whole time heist that was always a part of the plan so i thought like that was a bit of a cop-out essentially because I felt like if anyone should be either held accountable or being given a serious situation, it should be the Avengers. But it's like, no, them going back was a part of the plan. But Loki escaping wasn't part of the plan. So it is what it is. Um, the reveal, which they kind of hinted at towards the end of the episode, makes me very intrigued. Only because I don't actually feel what they said is true. Because if they if, if what they said is true, then I feel like the characters 
face or identity wouldn't be masked in all like the mystery of it. So I just feel that's a massive misdirect. And with that, I really want to see the pieces that come from the show that will lead to other movies and like to the MCU as a whole. I'm just waiting for Kang to turn up, to be honest with you. Like, just give me Kang the Conqueror. That's all I want. I'm here for it. Overall, I thought it was a good episode. It wasn't as action-packed as I thought it would be. But like I said, it's more just set up for what's coming. So because of that, I'm going to give Loki episode 1 a 6 out of 10. A 6 out of 10. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts on the episode. Guys, I will see you next time. Please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.